Now, for your Math Sparkly Brain Challenge today, you will be doing an exciting investigation on odd and even numbers. Hmm, do you remember what an odd or an even number is? Have a little think. Now, we know a little bit of a trick at school, don't we? So if we have the Numicon, like this five, for example, is this an odd or an even number? Well done, exactly, it is an odd number. But why do we know that? Ah, it's to do with the shape of it. It's got this extra bit, up, bit on the top here, which is a sticky up bit, which tells you that this is an odd number. Now, this number 10, for example, has a straight top at the top. It is even, so therefore this number 10 is even. But why? Do we even know why this is? Hopefully, we'll have the answer to this question at the end of our investigation. Right, I have set up a little bit of an investigation here and this is similar to what you will be doing in your home learning books. I've got my numbers to 10 here and I'm going to take each number and see if they will share equally in these two groups. If there's going to be the same amount here and the same amount in this one, that means that number is even. If it is a different number here to this group here, that means that number is odd. So let's have a look. Let's take the number one, for example. Right, one. I have one counter here. I'm going to put it into one of my groups. Hmm, I don't have anything to put in here. Are the groups equal? No, so therefore that means that number one is an odd number. So I'm going to record it here. Right, let's remove number one. Now, two. Let's share two into the two groups. Ready? One, two. Hmm, is the same on each group? Yes. So therefore, two is an even number. Now, let's try the number three. Ready? One for you. I've got three here. Three counters in my hand, one for you, one for you, and one for you. Hmm, are the groups equal? No, there's two here and there's one here. So therefore, is three an odd or an even number? Well done, it is certainly an odd number. So three needs to go there. Now let's take the number four. Okay, ready? I've got four counters here. One, two, three, four. Let's share them. One for you, one for you, one for you, and one for you. Ah, huh. how many are there in each group? There are two here and there are two here. So therefore, is four an odd or an even number? Well done, it is certainly even because both the groups are equal. Now, you can continue doing this investigation in your home learning journal. If you think you are confident with odd or even numbers, there is a harder challenge to do in the challenge zone. So have a look at the zones and have a look at the tasks and I'm looking forward to seeing all your work on odd and even numbers today.